All right, here we are, uh, round number three, night number three. It is Saturday night. It's been another great night. I want to thank our friends at Bud Light, our name stay sponsor. I also want to thank Ursula and Levi Myers, our friends at uh, Cowboy Fancy Honor. Shirts. They do such a good job making sure that we have all the clothes that we need. You know, it's been such a great three days. Tomorrow is going to be the deciding factor. Uh, a lot went on tonight. We'll tell you about that. But before we do that, I want to tell you about my new friend, Trinity. <laughs> she is amazing. She sings amazing. We've entered introduced her to the WRCA crowd and they absolutely love her and though we miss Adrian I got to tell you this young lady right here has stepped up and filled some big shoes because um, it's amazing how many people that are as pretty as you and Adrian for example can sing that good I mean you can take some ugly old guys like me and Hadley even old freaking uh, you know Kelly Corbin over there could announce if he had to but not everybody can sing like you I do. think you're just more tired than you think you are but thank you Tell me, what do you think about your first uh, WRCA World Championship? Oh, this is incredible. Such fantastic people, and I've never seen anything for such a better cause, so my well, hat's off to you well, guys. We're glad this to have fantastic. you here. Guys, we're going to run through this pretty quickly. I will tell you that we are in round number three. We finished up one full round. We're on a on the beginning of the next round, so the aggregate comes into place, or the average. Um, today, uh, we had an awful close race. In third place... Uh, Crutch Ranch comes in with a 77-point ride tonight. Jake Matchell, he just hammers one. And they come in with a combined score of 151. Then we go to Bruce Beeman. Now, Bruce Beeman, i got to tell you, he's 39 years old. He's a phenom. He's a phenom. The guy has been coming here for a long time. He has rode 23 Bronx in this building and never bucked off a single bronc that is incredible the guys that he's an animal he's been the top hand here and he's one of he's one of the guys that i'm proud to call my friend they come in second with a 152 leading it tonight as far as right now on the average is uh jolly and lord the second time team out of colorado jesse jolly who's been a, a saddle bronc riding champion and an all-around champion in the colorado pro rodeo association he comes in makes an 80 point ride tonight and they bang it out of the park with a 153. So that's your top three in the branch bronc riding as of right now. Tomorrow, 11 more, and things could change. Yep. But uh, looking pretty tough. Jolly and Lord, they were in a tie for fourth place overall coming into tonight. Crutch Ranch was in second place. Uh, Baron Highsmith was in first. And uh, Sandhills was in third. But a lot of dynamic shifted tonight. So we'll just have to see how it works out. Straight Gathering. It turned into kind of a, a cluster, kind of like last night. You know, yeah, it's yeah. kind of an eliminator event. And uh, after tonight, well, you know, same thing happened. We had some eliminations. Yep, quite a few no times in there. But uh, coming in third is uh, Slash B and Dagger Draw with a 134.31. Yep. Uh, Buford and Craig County, yep. they came into second with a 124.12. And Lonesome Pine, man, they, they smoked them so... Coming in first with 122.32. You know, Lonesome Pine, they're kind of that dark horse. They're always just back there in the back. They're always waiting. Chris Potter, of course, the 2013 uh, uh, top hand. And, and I know that I've probably beat this in the ground, but I'm going to tell you real quickly. Chris Potter donated a saddle to the Working Ranch uh, Cowboys Foundation. Out of the goodness of his heart, it's an all-around top hand saddle that he won in Council Grove. Um, we auctioned it off today. It brought $10,400 to go to the crisis fund. And that crisis fund, it's all about helping out cowboys and their families. It's not a handout, it's a hand up. And uh, we really appreciate Chris it's and his family. Great. Yeah, that is just awesome. Absolutely. All right, let's go to the team penning. Team penning got a little weird tonight. The cattle were hard to handle, like always. Good set of cattle, but. Um, you know, when it was all over, some good times, and, um, you know, it, it just seemed like it, there's a pretty good spread. There's about 21, 22, 32 seconds between first and third right now. So in third place, looks like it's going to be Broken H and H Cross. Uh, Beeman's team again looking pretty sharp. Then Crutch Ranch. Crutch, oh, yeah, second place, 118.83. Yep, you bet. Yeah. And then, of course, the boys from Colorado. Yeah, they did good again. Jolly and Lord coming in first with 102.03. That's a combined time on the average, so it's looking pretty good. You know, you take, for instance, they were 37.70 on the run tonight, 64.33 the run the other night. Gives them a 102.03. 
I don't know where it's going to shake out, but I bet that's going to push them pretty hard towards the top coming into tomorrow. Wild cow milking, a little different deal. The cattle were bigger, stronger. They came from Hippo Cattle Company. Um, had they made the remark that um, we sure thanked Hippo Cattle Company, him and I might have thanked him. I'm pretty sure the cowboys, <laughs> the judges, and everybody in the arena had absolutely nothing nice to say about Hippo Cattle Company. Uh, really good times tonight on the combined average. Uh, looks like uh, Buck Creek and Robbins, 94 and 16. That's third setting right now. Then we go to an 80 and 22 with Lonesome Pine. And then, of course, Buford uh, from Craig County, Oklahoma. They come in with a 77 94. Now, kind of the, the thing to think about there is that Lonesome Pine is right there again. 80 and 22, that's going to give them a lot of points in the average yeah. going into tomorrow. So if they happen to take that, that's 10 points that moves them towards that world championship. And they've never won one of those. Oh. See how it goes. Uh, last but not least is the calf brand. And I'm going to let you have the calf brand. Now, <laughs> sometimes the calf brand has been compared to uh, chaos in motion. <laughs> now, if you've ever been to a, a sure enough good Brandon, you know that there is a full set of um, uh, ways that you do things. There's an etiquette that takes place. If you hurt your neighbors, you don't bring them unless you have two feet or one low hawk. Never by the neck unless it's the last calf and the, and the boss says it's okay. Um, here, it's kind of a free-for-all. And I'm not sure that people understand exactly the etiquette that goes into it. But in the end, it still has a huge bearing on this. So yeah. why don't you tell us about the top three times in that over the average? Well, we've got Beechner coming in um, at third with 83.18. Mm -hmm. uh, second place is Art and Bailey with 81.38. And coming in with first place is Stock and Diamond E with a 77.71. Now, you know what's funny? With the exception of, let me look at that. Actually, Beechner, I think, is a Oklahoma team. Is that right? I think they're from Oklahoma. But the other two teams are Kansas. So... We have that rivalry of Kansas and Texas, seven Kansas teams, five or six Texas teams, depending on how you look at the uh, breakdown. Uh, I'd say that so far it's kind of a toss-up as to who's winning what. Um, folks, it's going to be a nail-biter. There ain't no two ways about it. You're sure going to want to check in yeah. tomorrow, and we'll tell you who won the world champion, who won the top horse, who won reserve world champion, who won top hand, and we'll tell you how tired we are, and hopefully we'll be drinking <laughs> beer instead of just looking at the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Trinity, thank you. You've thank done you. a great job. I appreciate Thanks. it. All right.